Hello my beautiful Virgos and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Firstly, I want to apologise for the noise and for the delay. There is a lot of roadworks going on out there. I don't know if any of you have seen Stranger Things in the last season where the floor split into like four parts and it looked like a lava maze. That's basically what it looks like outside. And I've been trying to wait for like the whole week for them to settle down so I can read and it's just they're just they're just not settling down. So um I'm just gonna just try and get through these readings. I'm gonna try and do, like do them a bit shorter than I normally do. So um, you know, if I seem a bit irritated or if you know the noise is you know if it's noisy, that's why, okay. Um hopefully you guys are still able to hear me because I feel like it's a lot louder in the room than it is on the recording. If I feel like it's too loud and you guys can't hear me, then I won't upload or I'll try and do you guys an extra reading. So just let me know in the comments if you can hear me, okay. So um without further ooh, without further ado, let's get into this reading. Also, um, I feel like this is an omen, especially with your overall energy. So for some of you, you may feel like um you know there's a lot of distractions going on okay somebody could be trying to kind of like irritate your mind irritate your psyche like just take away your peace of mind because people know as virgos we tend to like overthink um and um so you know it's important for us to be in like a calm grounded environment you know because we are earth signs okay so um yes yeah, so i feel like somebody could be trying to irritate you maybe somebody sees that you're peaceful you're you're calm and they're just trying to you know to just disrupt you but i'm hearing that you're just going to keep doing you know virgos whatever's going on around us we just keep going to work okay so the overall energy we have for you today is reflection and at the bottom of the deck we have stillness so yeah so something about you being still i feel like you need time to reflect you need time to think about a situation okay you could be thinking about you know maternal figures in your life this could be something to do with women okay um this also could be something to do with your past lives like maybe you're kind of maybe you're um feeling as though you are connecting with like your past life selves okay or there's something to do with like a star seed group or a, or a group of people around you okay this could also be your ancestors as well they could be trying to connect with you and you know like i was saying like you it's almost like you need um peace and like a tranquil environment in order for you to kind of connect with your ancestors and hear downloads so there could be like things around you that's trying to kind of um you know clog your your mind so that you can't receive messages okay um but don't worry i'm hearing something about aromatherapy really helps so you know if you have incense like your incense like your scented candles okay if you've got diffusers um help to um use other things to help you um calm down if that if that makes sense okay but yeah a lot of reflection now this could be somebody else thinking about you as well because underneath that we do have feelings okay but yeah i'm just hearing that you know you need to stay still you see that now I'm, as i'm saying that they're quieting down okay so um yeah so i feel like you know like i said something is could be trying to kind of um disrupt your environment or somebody's trying to trigger you that's the word i'm looking for someone's trying to trigger you okay but i feel like you know because she looks quite peaceful it's like you know all this stuff is going around her mind but you know i feel like someone's trying to kind of um derail your focus okay but it's almost like you have like a uh, protection around you like you've got your angels your guides your ancestors they're just like you know we're around you right now so don't worry okay but yeah but let's see where this is going so reflection and stillness okay so a lot of introspection a lot of thinking very virgo energy okay so you could be like in your hermit mode right now okay so i'm just thinking what card should we start with let's start with this deck so this is for my beautiful um virgos So yeah, I'm just hearing that, you know, stay calm because when you stay calm, that's when things will settle down. You see how the noise is starting to settle, but they're going to start and they're going to stop and they're going to start and they're going to stop. That's what they've been doing, you know, so I kind of just feel like something is just trying to disturb your peace, but you're still quite peaceful or you're still able to get things done. Okay, as long as you don't stress or get irritated. Okay, so we have the enchantress here that wanted to come out. Okay, so this could be somebody around you that's like doing something or trying to kind of manipulate your energy. Okay, but I feel like with this energy, you know, you're strong enough to be able to um, tame your own environment. Now, for some of you, you could be trying to manifest something. And like I said, you know, when you're irritated or when the environment is chaotic, um, it's harder for you to be able to manifest at least um, with a positive outcome because, you know, stress anger fear all of those um 
energies they kind of run on impulse because we're sometimes we're not able to control them and that's kind of what makes them um powerful when it comes to manifesting i always advise people to try and manifest like when they're in a good mood okay so i feel like somebody's trying to um someone's trying to just irritate you like this is what i'm getting here yeah look at this look at this look at this we've got the the possessive um and obsessive at the bottom of the deck i don't think i've ever pulled this card okay so yeah i feel like somebody is obsessed with you they could be jealous okay it could be a scorpio it's very scorpionic vibes here okay you could have um specific scorpionic placements as well it's almost like somebody sees you as enchanting like i said you're manifesting you're with you're at peace you have peace of mind right now and there's someone out here like watching you trying to kind of just irritate you or irritate your environment to that um you know somebody kind of wants you to panic they want you to be in that like virgo panicky energy and you're just like no i'm, I'm good okay so let's just see so this could be chaos magic okay somebody also could be trying to get into your psyche yeah we've got the housewife that wanted to come out okay so for some of you it could be homebodies okay um some of you could be wives as well maybe you work from home or you don't have a job um or somebody could be looking at you like somebody who they want to take care of okay like somebody who's like well kept okay i feel like you're really enchanting and you're just at home trying to relax trying to kind of like focus on yourself your beauty your environment environment i'm hearing something about like domesticity okay i feel like somebody wants to disrupt your home life with the housewife energy here okay i also feel like some some of you just look really really um i just heard the word cutesy um you look really um beautiful is what i'm hearing so some of you could be like wearing you know sexy lingerie regardless of whether you're with someone or not i kind of feel like you could be pampering yourself okay but yeah i just feel like somebody is trying to mess with your environment here okay somebody doesn't want you to be able to have peace at home and then we have yeah the healer at the bottom of the deck your energy so i feel like you're trying to heal yourself okay or you know like i said you need like a healing environment in order to do something i'm getting something about reiki healing so maybe you need to like watch videos where they combine reiki healing and energy um healing with music and that may help okay somebody also may want to heal something with you as well dreadlocks is very significant here somebody may have like dreadlocks or braids or like someone has like really long beautiful hair i'm getting like brown and red okay reddish kind of purplish okay auburn okay but yeah so yeah in in order for something to um heal within your environment i feel like it's important for you to um stay calm is what i'm hearing okay now somebody may want to um like i said they may want to heal something with you somebody ha may have been reflecting about something and they're like do you know what you know virgo's good people you know that housewife energy like i want to um i want to look after them i want to take care of them i want to nurture them so somebody could be seeing you like this like a trophy wife almost okay so somebody could be trying to manifest you so i'm getting lots of different messages okay so let's just let's get into it so please clarify the enchantress look at this i knew it we have anger management here okay so like i said so, and then in a piece i am on point okay in a piece anger somebody around you is trying to make you angry and they want to take you out of your peace this could be a leo with the enchantress you could be a Virgo Leo cusp also. Someone is upset that you are at peace. That you're healing. Maybe you separated from yourself from someone or from some kind of like, you know, a family unit or like a group of people. Or you maybe you cut off friends or something like that. I don't know. I feel like you just want to spend time by yourself, looking after yourself, looking after your home, doing your thing, doing what you have to do. And someone is like, you know, they're angry and they're frustrated. Or like I said, somebody's trying to get you in this energy. They're trying to do anything that they can to try and disrupt your energy so that you kind of like have an outburst or something. Okay? So yeah, if that's why the diviners are saying like, you know what, just, just keep calm and reflect as well. Reflect on what's actually happening. But before you kind of react, reflect. It's like, why is these like, why is this is just so unnecessary? But I feel like the key is to get you angry and to get you panicky so that you start to manifest more chaos in your life. Okay, so we have beliefs that wanted to come out and then we've got um, underneath that fun and laughter. Okay, so yeah, it's almost, I'm hearing something about your, you're going to get the last laugh here, but it's almost like somebody finds it funny. Maybe this is something that you believe in. Someone doesn't like that your beliefs or your, um, you are a very spiritual sign. So somebody could be trying to kind of like tamper with your spiritual beliefs because maybe if um, certain things keep happening in your life, you may lose your faith 
it's you know what i mean so it's almost like someone is trying to kind of like control your environment okay but we just want one card so we have inner peace that wanted to come out yet again yet again so on the table we've literally got the enchantress so basically the witch with anger and then the housewife with the inner peace literally so like i said stay calm stay still virgo because i feel like you're going to be faced with some kind of disruptions or you know somebody really wants to trigger you here and i feel like for some of you you're not triggered because you have healed certain parts of yourself or you're not overthinking about a situation anymore and this really angers and upsets somebody yeah we've got um my art at the bottom of the deck integrity slash responsibility so i feel like you know um you're being like a virtuous virgo you're doing the right things you know you're um maybe like i said you disconnected from something or from somebody because of your integrity maybe somebody wanted to do something immoral and you were just like no nah, i'm not about that life i don't want to do that somebody here seems like they're very um dark and vindictive okay maybe somebody was trying to get you into kind of like doing some kind of like dark magic or dark rituals or something you're just like no nah, i don't want to do that that's not for me you know i live beyond the means of the universe and that's it you're going to get karma for that okay i also feel like this is your karma this is your justice i feel like you're just you're just healing and you're um like i said you're focusing on yourself and it's, it's just driving somebody absolutely insane that they can't trigger you like somebody is triggered by you not being triggered okay so i don't know who this psychopath is but you know so we have um quirky that wanted to come out it reads normal is boring why be you blah. normal is boring why be a horse when you can be a unicorn yeah so i feel like you know you're different somebody just up is upset because um you are magical you are the enchantress here you know what i mean so somebody could be angry about your powers about your skills you know Vir um, virgos we tend to be very very skilled when it comes to things we tend to be the best at certain things naturally other people they don't know how to do things um naturally some people have to teach themselves how to do certain things and they still can't get it i feel like you get it you're, you're bang on point each and every time whatever it is that you do or somebody just can't figure you out okay yeah we have rebel um what rules what rules do whatever the fuck you want so i feel like you rebelled against something i keep getting something about like a cult or like a group okay or maybe you just don't want to follow like a certain system of beliefs like this is like um you know everybody likes to talk about you know like um i don't know celebrities and just gossip and the news and everything else and you're just like you like to read and so it's almost like you know you're not a part of the group you're doing your own thing because you're everybody else is like um focused on like superficial things and you're not you're more about the mind and your connection to the divine and spirit so it's kind of like people are like bothered by that and you're just like oh well okay so we have um kinky that wanted to come out which we'd spice things up so yeah i also feel like someone is really attracted to you as well so if this is like a romantic thing i feel like someone is upset because like you won't put out or you won't um like someone is really attracted to you but they can't they can't get you to to like to bend literally see how she's bent over there she's she's submitting somebody's upset because they can't get you to submit to them it's almost like somebody sees you as like the perfect housewife or the pers the perfect husband like somebody who's um like you're the whole package but you won't bend to somebody's will so they're upset about this and with the spice things up it's like they're trying to like i said create some kind of um disruption within your environment and you're just like nah i also feel like somebody finds um you to be very sexy as well someone likes the fact that you can kind of keep your cool when it comes to certain situations okay i also feel like someone likes the fact that you're very clean and neat okay yeah and then we have shadow work at the bottom of the deck face your inner de in the inner demons yeah i feel like someone is kind of doing like some kind of like dark energy work or somebody's in a really dark place okay while you are here and healed so two opposite energies here i also feel like this is how somebody wants you to um be like somebody could be projecting onto you or you know trying to make you fear something and you're just like i've done my shadow work and now i'm receiving my justice so you're going to get karma for anybody who's trying to do anything malicious to you okay now also there could be somebody who has reflected um that they have anger management issues and um this person may want to come and like apologize to you uh, upon reflection upon going within somebody has reflected on their own behavior so they may come and tell you this like you know there was demons that i was um battling and um i you know i know i wasn't doing you right or wasn't you know doing right by you whatever so somebody may kind of like come and confess something to you somebody wants to do the right thing somebody wants to take responsibility for their actions here yeah because underneath that we have health and healing okay 
So we have judgment. Exactly. This is in the role of the enchant en um, enchantress and the anger. So I feel like for some of you, somebody's either judging themselves or somebody's angry because they can't um, read you. Because, you know, judgment, um, in order to be a judge, good judge of character, you know, you have to have good discernment. That's basically what that means. So I kind of feel like somebody can't discern, like somebody can't figure you out. Okay. Yeah, the emperor. Because you're strong. You're powerful. Okay. Again, for some of you, you may work from home and somebody's trying to disrupt your, env your home environment. Okay. It's almost like as well somebody's angry because you're at the top of your field or like I said, you're a boss or um, you have mastered something. Okay. Now, somebody also may want a second chance with you as well. But, you know, the judgment card, you know, that talks about resurrection and on the enchantress with the anger, it's almost like somebody's trying to like resurrect some kind of dark energy or I don't know. But the universe is judging this person. So no worry about it. Okay. No worry about it. I feel like someone is being called out on their bullshit. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there you are. Your energy. You're focused on your coins. You're focused on your environment. Okay. You're focused on yourself. You're trying to keep yourself grounded. Okay. You see how she's wearing black there? So I feel like you are protected when it comes to something. And again, the Queen of Pentacles, that's like my wifey material card. So the fact that it's in the role of the housewife, I feel like somebody sees you as, as housewife material okay but it's like they're coming about it the wrong way or somebody maybe they're upset that they couldn't um they couldn't tie the knot with you or they couldn't make you bend to their wall like i said maybe somebody wanted to marry you or they wanted to trap you and it's just like nah now for others of you i do feel like somebody really wants to be with you here they see you as somebody who is loyal because you know the ace of cups was on the table i didn't even realize that i didn't um pick this card up okay so somebody may you know want to express some kind of love to you and may want to start again okay so we have um the eight of pentacles here yeah so here you are so you're you're showing up strong in your reading so like i said you're really skilled when it comes to something so you know especially if you're creative like artists you know we can't be ugh, honestly you know the artist needs to, to have peace of mind and that the environment needs to be peaceful in order for us to be able to create but some of us um if the environment is crazy we use our creativity like we channel that energy rather than getting angry we you know so maybe that's something that you need to do look underneath that we have justice once again okay so you see how she's painting here so like i said i feel like you're really skilled somebody's kind of like jealous of your talents or your gifts Okay, so you just keep focusing on your projects, keep channeling your energy into something creative. Some of you could be painting your home or decorating as well, if this is not like a picture that you're creating, okay? Whatever you're doing is coming out perfect as well with, you know, because we've got Libra energy here twice. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Libra could be very significant. You could be a Libra Virgo cusp, okay? So I'm getting two different scenarios here. I'm getting like, for some of you, like I keep saying, somebody's really trying to... um you know, disrupt your environment. This could be somebody trying to call you every five minutes as well. Um, for others of you, um, somebody wants to make something right with you. They want to work on something. Okay. So this could be romantic or this could just be actually something to do with money. Like maybe somebody wants to partner up with you. They want, they, you know, because somebody sees that you're really, really skilled. You know, you're the only one for the job. Okay. With the justice energy underneath there. Okay. But, you know, Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. So I feel like, you're, like I said, you're working on yourself. You're, you're healing. You're focusing on what's important to you, okay? So we'll just do one card. So we have um, Muse of Dance here, which reads movement, rhythm, performance, festival, celebration, body, celebration, um, body and physical expression, sorry. Okay, so yeah, physical expression. So for some of you, I'm getting something to do with performing arts, like music, you need to kind of move around, but also somebody's trying to, to create movement within your environment to kind of, you know, um, like I said, disrupt your energy. For some of you, I feel like music is very healing. That's maybe what you need to listen to in order to drown something out. Okay, but somebody here is like really performative. Now, for some of you, you may have a reason to celebrate as well. Because I feel like, you know, you're going through some kind of test here and you're going to pass the test and you're going to, um, you know, you're going to be rewarded for this. But this is in the role of the Enchantress. So I do feel like somebody's just trying to create, you know, drama in your life or things to go topsy-turvy. But I feel like you're handling it really well. 
okay so we have gemini it could be a gemini it doesn't have to be it reads number three mercury air communication language social adaptable versatile and clever so yeah i feel like for some of you you know you're able to adapt to your environment you're able to kind of switch things up we have pisces that wanted to come out here okay so yeah this is all something to do with your psyche your peace of mind especially something to do with your creativity it um reads number 12 neptune jupiter water dreams fantasy secrets artistry psychic and hypnotic okay interesting somebody could be fantasizing about you a lot as well i'm getting like two different stories i feel like somebody really wants to be with you and then yeah we've got the fortune teller at the bottom of the deck so you could be dealing with a reader or like i said somebody's having difficulty trying to read you it says divination tarot oracle square crystals pendulum runes predictions astrology fate and destiny so something is a part of your destiny here maybe somebody's trying to take your destiny away from you some of you like i said if you um if this is part of your work like maybe you're a spiritual practitioner of some kind for some of you, you could be working on like something tangible you could be working on like your own decks or um you know a crystal collection or something like that i feel like whatever you're producing is absolutely beautiful somebody here is just angry because you're just able to keep moving forward okay because movement is the first word on this card somebody wants to disrupt you because you're just you're just you're just making moves I feel like whatever's going on in your environment, you just keep producing great work. You just keep working on yourself. You, you're, you, you're looking absolutely gorgeous with the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, looking like a bag of money. Somebody's just upset about this. They're just upset about this. Somebody also could be trying to get readings on you as well to see whether or not you're going to be together. Because for some of you, I do feel like somebody wants a second chance with you upon reflection. Okay, so like I said, you know, just take what you feel resonates because there's so many different stories. Okay. So, so you see how, you know, as the reading has progressed, the noise outside has gone. So yeah, just about staying calm, okay? So this is the card that wanted to come out for you guys. It says the most damaging phrase in the language is we've always done it this way. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, there's something that you don't want to do. You're breaking some kind of generational curse here. You're just like, I don't care if you've always done it this way. It stops here with me, okay? You're working on something... You um, you're by yourself, for yourself, you know, Virgo energy, self-made, okay, we be doing things all by ourselves, and it always comes out absolutely gorgeous, so I feel like for some of you, you can feel really proud that you put work into something, I don't feel like you received any help, I'm, I'm getting like sweat, blood, and tears went into something, okay, so be proud, because somebody's just upset, because you're just going against the grain when it comes to something, this could be something to do with your religion as well, okay, or like a cultural thing, at the bottom of the deck, it says, interviewer, what would you say is the most overrated virtue? And the response is compliance and conformity. Yeah. So, I, like I said, I feel like you're just doing something your own way. You don't want to do... Maybe for some of you, somebody wants you to get married or wants you to be that typical housewife. And you're just like, well, I don't want to do that. Okay? I don't want to do that. Okay? But it is what it is. So, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Again, apologies for the noise in the beginning. Um, but we got through it, guys. And I will see you in the next one. If this doesn't resonate, please check out your other placements and also the collective readings. Toodles!